Certified pre-owned cars, CPOs, are they really worth the extra cash that you have to pay for them? That's a question worth thousands of dollars that we are tackling today. If you've been following us for a while, you know we historically haven't been big fans of CPOs, and before we finish, we'll explain some reasons why. For now, we'll dive into a detailed breakdown of certified pre-owned CPO cars versus non-certified used cars. What's really the difference, and is the difference worth the extra cash? Because it does amount to thousands more. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. Joining me in studio to outline this conversation about CPOs is the amazing Elizabeth. Thanks, Kevin. It's good to be here. Buying a used car can definitely feel like a gamble, but with certified pre-owned or CPO programs, according to their manufacturers and their dealers, the CPO programs promise to take the guesswork out of it. But the question is, does it really? Dealers say offering a CPO is like offering an almost new car at a lower price. But here's the real question. Are they actually worth the extra money, or are you just paying more money for a fancy label on a used car? Well, let's jump right in. Number one, what is the real deal about CPO cars? According to manufacturers and dealers who have them, CPOs or certified pre-owned cars aren't just any used car. They say it's a vehicle that's a bit nicer than your typical used car. It generally has lower miles. It's undergone a detailed inspection by a dealer or the manufacturer. But sometimes that isn't true, which is why we haven't always been huge fans. If the vehicle does go through this intense inspection and it passes, meaning it's relatively new, in good condition, with low miles, the car gets to be put in the certified category of cars, known as CPOs. Now, along with that certification comes an extra price tag that I've mentioned. On average, CPO cars can cost anywhere from $1,000 to 3000 more than their non-certified counterparts. At the end of today's show, we will share what brands of CPOs have a manufacturer back warranty, which is key to why you'd go with a CPO in the first place, and we'll also give some details on those warranties. If the extra cost doesn't seem to be like a wad of cash to you, let me be clear by saying that simply by the virtue of being a CPO, no additional book value is earned by this vehicle. So no, it will not have greater resale value later. It's not worth more. Mm -hmm. Number two, what do you, the car buyer, actually get with the CPO? What exactly are you paying for? Let's break down what you actually get with a CPO vehicle. Here are three benefits. Number one is an extended warranty. Most CPO cars come with an extended warranty beyond the manufacturer warranty, but here's the kicker. It's often quite limited and not all components are covered. You need to read the fine print carefully. Is it a powertrain only that they are covering or does it cover electronics or air conditioning and other high repair costs? Since we are covering which brand of cars offer a manufacturer backed warranty at the end, including the details of those warranties, I won't mention that here. Number two, the vehicle gets a thorough inspection. Dealers love to flaunt the multi-point inspection, sometimes up to 150 points. Sounds great, right? But don't let that number fool you. A lot of these points can be small, like checking tire pressure or ensuring the windshield wipers are working. Sure, safety components are reviewed, but a CPO inspection isn't a guarantee the car is flawless. It just meets a baseline for certification. And number three, roadside assistance and perks. Some CPO programs throw in perks like free roadside assistance, free maintenance for a limited time, and a car fax report. But how much are these extras really worth? For many buyers, these perks won't pay off unless something goes wrong within a very short time frame after buying the vehicle. So number three, what about non-certified used cars? On paper, these cars don't come with the fancy certification or extended warranties, but that doesn't mean you're getting a bad deal. Here's a comparison example. Let's say we have a 2019 Honda Accord certified pre-owned or CPO vehicle for 23000 and here's the same model non-certified for 20000 That's a $3,000 difference. With that kind of money, you could buy an extended third-party warranty yourself or cover future repairs outright just by saving some money in your own bank account, something that we do all the time. Yes. You just have to make sure that you are buying a warranty that's worth the money if you do get a warranty. So is the CPO premium really worth it? While we've never been big fans of CPO programs, we are not saying that you wouldn't enjoy some benefits from it that might be valuable to you. Number four, the warranty comparisons, a CPO versus a third party. Here's another point people don't talk about, third party warranties. If you do enough homework, you can get a solid independent extended warranty on a non-certified used car for much less than the cost of the CPO premium. And sometimes these warranties offer more flexibility, cover a broader range of issues than the manufacturer backed extended warranty does. Just be extremely careful when buying a third party extended warranty because there are lots of con men out there. Be very careful. Yeah. Number five, the fine print dealers don't mention. Let's get into that fine print, shall we? Certified pre-owned programs vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, 
And many buyers don't realize that a CPO vehicle could still have minor wear and tear or cosmetic issues. Right. Certification doesn't mean the car is perfect. Plus, many CPO warranties require you to service the car at a specific dealership, limiting your options down the line for maintenance. Number six, is a CPO ever worth it? When and under what conditions is a CPO vehicle actually worth the money? The truth is, that's partly up to you. Generally, CPO makes more sense if you're buying a high-end luxury car or a vehicle with notoriously high repair costs. In these cases, the extra warranty could save you thousands in repair expenses. But for most everyday drivers, Hondas, Toyotas, Fords, buying a non-certified used car and keeping the extra cash in your pocket is most often the smart financial move. Number seven, how should you shop for a non-certified used car? Let's say you decide a CPO isn't right for you. If you decide to go the non-certified route, here's some minimum steps you should do to protect yourself. Number one, get a pre-purchase inspection known as a PPI. Always get a trusted mechanic to inspect the car before buying it. This is a must. Think of it as your own personal certification. Right. Number two, buy an extended warranty if you really think it's needed, but research third-party extended warranties and make sure they cover what's important to you, not just what's easy for the dealer to offer. If you really want an extended warranty, one of our car coaches can help you with that. Just ask for a referral. He only marks them up 200 bucks. That's the lowest cost you can get them anywhere. Right. And then thirdly, negotiate aggressively. Without the CPO label, you've got more negotiating power, so always use it to your advantage. So is a CPO car worth it? It depends on these factors. For most people, especially if you're buying a reliable car with a solid track record, non-certified used cars are going to give you the most bang for your buck. But if you're sold on the peace of mind that you think a CPO offers and you want that extra cushion, go ahead and just pay the premium. Just make sure you know exactly what you're getting. We promised to go over CPO warranty details, so here you have it. The warranty on a certified pre-owned car is typically a manufacturer-backed, not a third-party warranty. This is one of the main selling points of CPO vehicles, as buyers get the peace of mind that comes from having the original manufacturer stand behind the car, rather than relying on a possibly questionable aftermarket or third-party warranty provider. Here's a breakdown of how typical CPO warranties usually work. It's generally manufacturer-backed. Number one, extended coverage. A CPO car generally comes with an extension of the original manufacturer's warranty. This could be an extension of the bumper-to-bumper coverage, powertrain warranty, or both, depending on the manufacturer and the specific CPO program. It should offer you enough benefits that even you new car buyers might want to go this route. Here's why. Number two, since the warranty is from the manufacturer, it typically mirrors the same terms and conditions as the warranty you'd get on a new vehicle. This includes access to manufacturer-approved repair facilities and certified parts, ensuring a higher standard of repairs. And the third part is transferability. You might not have known that manufacturer-backed warranties on CPO cars are often transferable if you decide to sell a vehicle before the warranty expires, which can add some value if you're the kind of buyer who plans to sell the car in the near future. So some key points about CPO warranties. There's the length of coverage. Most Mm -hmm. CPO programs extend the powertrain warranty for several years beyond the original coverage, often up to six or seven years from the car's original sale date or up to a certain mileage, whichever comes first. But don't assume here. Always read that fine print. Yep. Also, it's specific to the manufacturer. Each car brand has its own CPO program, and the terms vary widely. For example, a Toyota Mm -hmm. CPO might include seven years or 100,000 miles of powertrain coverage, while a BMW CPO might cover just one year of additional comprehensive warranty after the original warranty expires. Bottom line, the brand of the car does matter when it comes to a CPO. Mm -hmm. And lastly are some maintenance perks. In some cases, the manufacturer warranty will include added perks like free maintenance, roadside assistance, and trip interruption coverage, which are not typically included in third-party warranties. Here's a recap on non-certified third-party warranties. In contrast, non-certified used cars can only be covered by third-party warranties, which tend to vary more in quality, coverage, and terms. These warranties are usually sold by dealerships, warranty companies, or independent providers, and quite often they don't match the standards of the manufacturer-backed warranties. Not every certified pre-owned program uses a manufacturer-backed warranty. While most major automakers offer manufacturer-backed CPO warranties, there are some instances where third-party warranties or dealership-backed warranties might be used, especially with smaller or luxury brands. All right, these are the brands that typically offer manufacturer-backed CPO warranties. These well-known brands offer manufacturer-backed warranties as part of their CPO programs. They include many mainstream brands like Toyota, Honda, Ford, Chevy, Nissan, Hyundai, Kia, Subaru, and Volkswagen. These next brands are known for having CPO programs that include extended warranties. 
Backed by the automaker itself, the coverage often mirrors the original new car warranty, but extends the duration or the mileage limits. They are these luxury brands. BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Audi, Lexus, Acura, Cadillac, Infiniti, and Volvo. Luxury brands tend to offer more comprehensive CPO warranties, often covering both the powertrain and bumper-to-bumper components. Pays to read those fine details. These warranties are manufacturer-backed, which is crucial, in our opinion, for maintaining the premium service level expected by luxury car owners. There are brands that use third-party or dealership-backed warranties for CPOs. There are brands of cars that offer a CPO vehicle on their lots, but the warranties covering them are third-party extended warranties, and that's where the water gets a bit muddy for us. Indeed. Mm -hmm. This includes some dealership networks, particularly smaller or niche brands who rely on third-party or dealership-backed warranties, which generally don't offer the same level of support as the manufacturer's warranty. To the point that Liz just made, what's the difference between manufacturer-backed and third-party warranties? Well, manufacturer-backed warranties, this type of warranty is typically better in terms of coverage, quality of service, and ease of repairs. Manufacturer-backed warranties often require that repairs be done at an authorized dealership using OEM or original equipment manufacturer parts, ensuring a higher standard of repair. Third-party warranties, on the other hand, these warranties vary greatly in quality. Some may offer comprehensive coverage on paper, but many have more limitations, such as capped payouts, or exclusions for certain types of repairs. Additionally, third-party warranties may not always allow repairs at authorized dealerships or might have limitations on which mechanics you can use. In addition, some find every excuse under the sun to avoid paying at all, like a video we did recently. Yes. Here are some key takeaways from today's show. Most major mainstream and luxury brands offer manufacturer-backed warranties as part of their CPO program. We think these warranties sound better. Some exotic, niche, or smaller brands may use third-party warranties for their CPOs, or they may not have a comprehensive CPO program at all. Independent dealerships might offer dealership-backed CPO programs that aren't connected to the manufacturer and often include third-party warranties. These you have to be very careful with. I generally see CPO cars as a marketing strategy that benefits dealerships more than consumers. For this reason, we encourage buyers to do their homework, search for well-maintained used cars with a solid service history, and negotiate better deals outside of the CPO framework. This approach, we argue, provides better value without paying unnecessary premiums. As a general rule, you should know that our coaches don't really focus on CPO cars. You can read all about it at thehomeworkguy.com. If we help our viewer get a used car, it's almost always non-certified. You should also know that when you use our hassle-free car buying service to buy a car, either me or Kevin will personally take every intake call. You get to talk directly to us, and we are the only show hosts on YouTube that offer this level of personalized service. What's also different about our car buying service compared to others is that we are truly a customer-focused service provider. We're not trying behind your back to recruit dealers to a referral network like others are doing. And I think without me saying, I think you know who I'm talking about. (laughs) That's right. We never want to be anything like the Costco Auto Program with a dealer referral network that always fails. Thanks to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. And if you want our direct help in your next car deal, text Liz today, 701-441-3399. To all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, home of the only totally hassle-free car buying service, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the entire hassle-free homework guy team. Thanks for listening. 